Nearly two million years ago, early humans stepped into a world far older, far darker, and ruled by giants they had never imagined. For generations, these forests were avoided, too quiet, too still, a place where even predators hesitated to roam. In this world of giants, every shadow felt alive. Every tree seemed to watch them back. What they found were not normal tracks, but impressions left by something enormous. Morphed by the shadow of giants, these early hominids understood their place in the vast, unforgiving wilderness of prehistoric Africa. Something powerful moved here, strong enough to bend trees, brack bamboo, shape the forest itself. Then, the earth whispered a warning, a distant tremor, a giant approaching. They were not alone. Something ancient, something colossal, was watching them too. The deeper they walked into the ancient forest, the clearer the truth became. Something enormous ruled this land. No human, no predator, could bend bamboo like this. Far from dominant, these early hominids relied on wit and cooperation to survive among the titans of the Miocene. Each footprint, each broken branch, formed a trail wide enough for an entire herd, yet made by one solitary titan. A footprint, vast and filled with the morning's dew. It was fresh. The giant had passed through this place not long before. Standing barely four feet tall, Australopithecus afatrensis often faced creatures of far. Something watched them from the darkness. Something too large to hide, yet too quiet to understand. This crushed giant speaks of a power few creatures possess. A clear sign that danger. They had entered a kingdom where hominids were no longer the hunters, but the watched. As the tribe pushed deeper into the unknown, the sky began to darken, as if warning them of what lay ahead. The forest grew quiet, too quiet for a storm, as if something else was approaching. They huddled together, hoping the storm would hide them, not knowing they had already been found. And then, the forest's secret stepped into view. This was no predator, no animal they had ever seen. A true giant, the last of his kind. In this harsh, primeval world, the dawn of man was a fragile thing. He did not roar. He did not charge. He simply watched, as if recognizing them. For a moment, their world had stopped. 
A creature from another age had spared them. With the storm behind them, the tribe followed the traces of the Titan, deeper into the ancient world he ruled alone. Pushing through the ancient forests of Africa, these early hominids learned adaptation. Their journey was one of constant caution and emerging curiosity. His trail was unmistakable, a pathway carved by pure strength, one only a creature of unimaginable size could forge. They studied the forest with new eyes, learning how the giant fed, how he moved, how he lived. These marks were not of territory, but of dominance. The Titan claimed this forest as his own. He did not live like a predator, he lived like a king. Calm, confident, untouchable. In that silent moment, they understood. Knowledge, not violence, would keep them alive. When the sun vanished, the forest changed, and fear became the first language early humans ever understood. felt danger in the air, not from predators, but from the Titan who ruled this place. In the darkness, hearing became their greatest weapon and their greatest fear. A deep thunder rolled through the forest, the call of the giant ape. A warning, a claim. The night belonged to giants, and all other creatures bowed to that truth. They could not see him, but every beat of his chest echoed through their bones. The forest whispered a warning. Nature itself was preparing to test every creature that called this land home. The storm was not gentle. It came with the fury of a world still young and wild. As the rains arrived, the tribe sought refuge in the ancient rocks, a timeless struggle for survival. In moments, rain turned the earth into rivers. Visibility fell, panic rose. Sweeping across the primordial forests of Africa, a storm of epic proportions rages, challenging the emerging life below. Every step became a battle. Even the earth beneath their feet betrayed them. They had survived predators, but nature was a force unlike any other.
In the darkness of the storm, they waited, learning that safety was not found alone, but together. And when the storm finally passed, the forest had changed. But so had they. With the storm gone, the tribe stepped into a changed world, a world shaped by forces far larger than themselves. The giant had passed through here. The storm revealed what was hidden, a new trail to follow. What once filled them with terror, now filled them with purpose. They began choosing, testing, asking questions without words, guided by instinct. For the first time, they were not merely surviving, they were learning. Together, they discovered what strength alone could not teach, the power of choice. In their eyes, fear had transformed into purpose. Curiosity had replaced panic. As dawn broke, the forest fell silent once more, not in fear, but in anticipation. Four million years ago, the world was a canvas of constant danger and breathtaking beauty. This was the dawn of the hominids. Every shadow felt alive. Every sound felt meaningful, for something ancient was near. This is the cradle of life, where the first steps towards humanity were taken amidst the swirling mists of deep time. They felt it before they say it, a presence larger than sound itself. There stood the last giant, a living shadow of a forgotten age. As the mist cleared, they witnessed something that would forever change their understanding of the world. A new dawn for Homo habilis. He had no anger, no hunger, only wisdom and the weight of a world disappearing. final declaration, not of dominance, but of farewell. In that moment, they understood. They had witnessed something sacred. The giant was gone, but his memory remained. A shadow carved into the minds of those who witnessed him. Step by step, out of the shadows and into the light. This was the dawn of unity. They followed the paths he forged. Footsteps that became roads for generations that came after. And the young watched, learning not through fear, but through wisdom passed down. Through shared effort and silent understanding, the burden is lessened. Here, in the golden hour, his last footprint slowly faded, 
but the lessons he left behind grew stronger. Fires burned brighter. Ideas traveled further. Communication grew deeper. Something awakened within them. Something that would shape the future of our entire species. The memory of the last giant faded into legend, but the wisdom he sparked lived on inside every human mind. Four point six million years ago, Africa was a kingdom of giants. Ivory flashed beneath the rising sun, 